I'm Anthony Teresi, and welcome to this presentation of A Global Love Affair. Here at A Global Love Affair, it is our desire and our objective to unify all the peoples of the world through the power of the emerging love force from each heart. Our intention is to do that through the force of intuition, to bypass entirely the mental and issues of the mind that seem to separate us so. Through intuition, we are able to tap into the consciousness of the entire universe. Through the experience and the expression of love through our heart, we are able to touch the entire cosmos and the creator from which we come. In our journey today, we will be going through the seven most sacred places on planet Earth referred to as the Earth Chakras. There are more than seven, but we are going to take a journey through the major seven. And in part two, we'll show you how you can become part of our organization and join in this entire planetary endeavor of creating a wave of love to overcome all the negativity that currently exists in our world. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the introduction to the seven major Earth chakras. Looking out into the universe on a clear night, our mind reels when we try to conceive of the trillions upon trillions of stars, each presumably with planets and life forms of their own. Perhaps similar to ours, perhaps not. Yet nonetheless, life is teeming through all of reality. Here on our planet, the beauty, the wonder of the being that animates our planet that we have come to know as Mother Earth is an amazing, fantastic upholder of life. This planet, like ourselves, has been given life by the source of all things. It too, evolves, aspires, and reaches for greatness. It too, like us, is on an evolutionary scheme to reach the pinnacle of its potential. And as we shall see, it helps in every way conceivable to move us along our path. It is from this point that we start our journey. In order to understand the Earth chakras, we must first take a look at a smaller version, namely those within ourselves. Because the Earth chakras are spread out across the entire planet, it's difficult to understand their function without looking at what a chakra is to begin with. In this basic picture, we see the seven wheels from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Each center functions within its own capacity, its own realm. The very base of the spine grounds us to the core of the planet. The one above that, the sacral, is the sexual urge, the urge to propagate our species. The solar plexus is the center that creates will and the will and the desire to accomplish things. The heart, of course, is the center of love, affection, and connection with our Creator. The throat is our ability to speak, communicate, and vibrate and intonate the word. And the brow, or the third eye chakra, is the center by which we perceive a greater reality that leads to the energy escaping through the crown. The crown chakra is the portal to enlightenment. This is much more of a dimensionally correct way that the energy expresses itself. It moves onward, upward, and in many ways interacts on many different levels. It is very important to understand that all of the chakras operate in concert or in unison with each other, each one interacting with and connecting to the dimensions of all. As we view the map of all of planet Earth, we can see 
the geographic locations of each planetary chakra. Very unlike the orderly fashion that they exist within ourselves, at least it seems so until we look deeper. The locations that you see on this map seem to be spread apart, but they are connected by powerful lines of energy interconnected and weaving back and forth between them all, creating a wave or an oscillation that corresponds directly to the electromagnetic charge that gives life to all and everything on the planet's surface, beneath the surface, and in the atmosphere. These chakras or planetary positions connect the same way only on a planetary level as our earlier explanation of the human chakras. This next map shows the actual charge and oscillation as it moves back and forth across the entire globe. Unseen by us, but without its presence, we would not exist, nor would any life on the surface of this planet. Keep in mind that distance, even though it seems great, is not a factor here. The chakras operate in the etheric and beyond space and time. They are always and forever interconnected with the life force that issues forth from the creator source. Mother Earth itself is in constant and continual contact with these very forces, which forever sustain and continue to uphold all life in its care. This is a more accurate representation of this energy that we speak of that circles our planet, the energy of life. We, as human beings, find that we can attune our own consciousness to these levels of awareness. And those that are able find their life greatly enhanced and the happiness and pure joy that comes from that beyond description. Mount Shasta, home of the root chakra. This is where the energy emerges from the core of our planet, reaches upward through the very volcano that is Mount Shasta, touches the electric energy in the atmosphere and becomes the electromagnetic energy that sustains all life. Tradition and history are rich with many stories of past civilizations that have existed there. Even today, one known as Telos, which exists inside the mountain, is told by the indigenous people of modern day Mount Shasta. There exist, in fact, many creation stories regarding the birth of humanity. And Mount Shasta is a beautiful place. Sometimes on a clear night, it seems like you can see the heavens themselves. As the life force flows southward through the mystical city of Palenque, Mexico, it emerges in the sacred valley of Peru, ultimately working its way down to the island of the sun at the southern tip of Lake Titicaca in Bolivia. This is where Mother Earth realizes its relationship with the cosmos and its spiritual source. This is where the desire to create life is born and continues on through cycle after cycle in the eternal bliss of creation. Mighty civilizations such as the Aztec, the Maya, and the Toltec were deeply aware and connected to this process and the land itself. Shamans, both men and women, do daily rituals, thousands of years old, connecting the planet to the life force as it swings through the Pacific Ocean to emerge in Australia. The life force emerges at the southern tip of Australia at Promontory Point moves through the telluric plates up to the giant monolith of Uluru. 
There, it travels to the cathedrals of Katajuta to be differentiated, each in its own direction sent northward to the European and Scandinavian countries. Now our world, through its solar plexus energy, wills the different energies forward to nourish each and all the species of life. This is the land of the Aborigines. This is the land of dream time. This is the land where the people have existed somewhat isolated for thousands of years. Planet Earth literally wills the energy forward to reach the rest of the planet by the sheer force of its desire to create and uphold the life that it has committed and dedicated itself to create. Here, all life energy is sent forth to touch all living things to transport them to the next level of the heart. Now we touch the most important part of our journey as now we embrace the heart of our world. It is this energy that we seek to utilize intuitively and connect with all humanity. This is where, as noted, we begin to bypass the mind and the mental capacity to analyze. This is where the intuition takes over to connect all living things. As the creative life force of all things on our planet descends from the atmosphere, it touches down at Glastonbury and Shaftesbury in the UK. This is the real center of unconditional affection, spiritual growth, and compassion, devotion, and love. It is the bridge connecting the lower and the higher energies of our being and is a place where love resides as our spirit in the true self, free and independent. This is where we separate the lower functions of life, instinctual production, and the energy transference into the emotions of elevated love. Again, history is rich with tradition dating back thousands of years where shamans helped to keep the energy pure and the love flowing through all of creation. Egypt and the Great Pyramids at Giza represent the throat and our ability to intone or vibrate reality into existence. It's where the truth is expressed and cannot lie, for vibration is what it creates and no other thing. Humanity was initiated through the very mystery schools of knowledge of Egypt itself into the fact that other lands exist and other realities can be ours. We were shown the way through vibration is the way to creation. Love is the greatest and grandest of all vibrations and raises up to the highest pinnacle those able to embrace its complete and total reality that we are in fact all one, that everything is all one and connected to everything else. Here, a quick look at our map shows the second crossing point that we currently approach, the sixth chakra, which is Bali. The four sacred mountains of Bali, which are spread across the entire island, some 5,000 plus square miles, represent the sixth chakra or energy center. Here, through the power of intuition, it connects with all life in the universe. A transcendent knowing of all dimensions is transferred through the brow chakra. And just as in us, our planet connects with the entire universe in all of its glory and all of its strength and power and transmits intuitively that energy to all of the creative life forms under its care. This is the third eye, all-seeing, all-knowing center, and the step prior to enlightenment, 
This is where energy is transferred from the cosmos to the living creations of all the universe. Once attained, this becomes the gateway to the final step of enlightenment. Now we reach the seventh chakra or energy center, located at Mount Kailash in Tibet. Here, from the roof of the world, the broadcast of attainment and enlightenment for all creatures is made known. Here, the awakening of all human beings and all the evolutionary civilizations of time and space reach their next step, their next journey begins with enlightenment into the spiritual realities that truly exist beyond the world of space and time. With true enlightenment attained, we leave our physical bodies behind and become pure energy, pure ascending mortals reaching toward their spiritual center. This is true enlightenment, the understanding and knowing that we are one. Everything is indeed one. One source, one spirit, one center, one. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the journey. Once again, here at A Global Love Affair, we are a humanitarian organization dedicated to uniting all humanity through the connecting power of the heart and the intuition that exists within us all. In this manner, we hope to bypass the mental considerations that seem to separate us and go directly to the connecting force of the power of love across all boundaries. The introduction to the seven chakras was a way of showing you how the energy moves across the planet, across the world, across reality. In part two, we're going to be showing how we intend to connect with the information and the energy that you've just seen. We intend to be able to utilize this energy and spread our message through the heart across the entire globe, whether it be on site at one of the sacred sites or sitting at home in your living room. If you're interested in these types of experiences, we invite you to join us here at A Global Love Affair. Watch for part two, and we hope to see you soon. And once again, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Cherisi. Until next time.